Hey guys, Kev here, and I am going to do the weekly gear drop lineup video, calling it What's Hot Urban EDC 329 gear drop video. So I'm trying to dial these in, right? Um, the first time I had some of the stuff, and then I went over the other stuff they had. Uh, the second week, I didn't really have anything last week, and I kind of just talked in my truck. Um, excuse me. I've talked to Urban EC. They're going to try to send me some stuff early so that I can do these videos better and actually have visuals to show you products. But a lot of the stuff on their drops is limited, you know, so it makes it tough. But um, I actually have a package that's supposed to be here like tomorrow or Thursday with a bunch of stuff for this drop and it just didn't get here in time. Um, so going forward, we're going to try to plan it better and get stuff ahead of time. So I can make this video, drop it on Tuesday night. You guys get a little intro into what's coming. You can actually see it, get my impressions, that kind of stuff. But for the ones where I don't have the physical products, I am going to do this. So I'm doing basically a stream yard recording and then I can pull up, my screen. So I'm going to pull up um, the gear drop items. So here, for example, is the Amsler Knives Hurricane Razor 2049 2049 Mini Compact in S35. So I have early access because I am a VIP member or whatever. Um, you have to spend a certain amount of money and then you get into their VIP program. Um, Pretty sure that's how it works. And then you get 24 hour early access. I have spent over $5,000 at Urban EDC. So I don't have this because I'm an affiliate. I don't have this because they're giving it to me to shill stuff. I legitimately have spent an ass ton of my money at Urban EDC. So I got the early access. So now I can use that. <laughs> to show you guys this stuff before the drop because normally you can't get to the products uh until the drop time which is 3 p.m eastern on wednesday so anyway without further ado let's hit up some of these items and take a look i'll give you my thoughts and i'll probably do an unboxing in uh you know a week or so that'll have some of these items if you're interested in that but i've actually really wanted one of these for a while it's like a really slim uh fixed blade it's just like a kind of like a pen sized fixed blade and it looks really cool i did reach out to the company they never responded to me on instagram some companies just don't use instagram and i didn't pursue it very much um but i thought it was cool and um yeah i just never pulled the trigger on one because i'm not the biggest fixed blade guy but um it comes with a cool sheath um and it's just a really simple uh, fixed blade with a clip. I think it's really good, like especially for people who maybe aren't knife guys or whatever. You know, you just have a simple thin thing that has a sheath. It's protected and a clip. You can put it in a bag or whatever. It's not. It's not really like scary. It's not um, overwhelming because it has all this action and shit. So I think it's a cool product. 150 bucks is you know it's a little pricey for a. a little fixed blade like that but i do believe they're made in the united states um so they're basically customs and i think it's pretty cool so i would definitely uh want to check one of these out yeah made in the u.s it weighs 0.6 ounces uh 1.25 blade length i mean it's basically the perfect little box cutter um type deal so uh when i do get that package i uh, i'm very excited to check one of these out so that is the Ampsler. Now I have to go kind of to my email to get to the next one and see how this works. So yeah. All right. So I'm just going to have to uh, stop sharing and then share the next one. And it should just keep working. So we shouldn't have a problem. This one I'm really excited about. These are dropping. Hopefully there's still some in stock by the time the drop happens. Because again, you have the people who have early access, right? And then you have people who are part of their, um, oh, what is it called? The Yamamoto Club. And uh, that's a different thing. That's kind of a paid 
subscription you pay for and then you get access to things and one of those i believe is three hour early access so um that's why some people were complaining about one drop recently where the stuff was gone before it dropped and it's like well they have early access then they have the yamamoto club so more people are getting access early you can do the same um but you obviously have to pay for it. I think they have one that's like 10 bucks a month and they have another that's like a hundred dollars a month or something. So, you know, obviously you get more for what you pay and they are sort of like, I think one of them is like an invite only thing. Um, they're really trying to build sort of a community for the people who care about that. For the people who don't, you just show up at the drop and you're good, you know, excuse me. But um, this is a product I really have always wanted to try and they did send me one to check out for this video that again didn't get here in time but um i just keep mentioning it because i'm like excited to check these out and i really wanted to get this honeycomb one so that's what i asked for and i'm probably just gonna buy it but it looks like this on the right here i don't know why i can't get just a picture of that one but let me see if i click on it there we go so right here, this is the one I'm talking about over here. Just absolutely sexy to me. That one stands out the most. They all look good. But if you made me choose, I would choose this one. Oh, you know what I just realized? No. Okay, that is the honeycomb. This is the golf ball. Thank God. All right. So I would rank them by this one, honeycomb, then this one with the stripes. Um, then I'd probably go with this one right here. And then I'd go plain, and then I'd go golf ball. Um, but basically this guy takes, um, Swiss army knives in this case, a tinker, and he puts titanium scales on them. So you get all the cool tools that come with a tinker. You get your blade, your bottle opener slash, you know, um, flat. And then you get, uh, or is that a Phillips? Sorry. And then you get your scissors, your flathead slash uh, bottle opener, can opener, whatever one that isn't small blade the screwdriver that's awesome and then you get the parcel hook and the all that i find useless but whatever um so you get all that with awesome titanium scales now i thought they came with a pocket clip but they are tapped for it so you could go on that website and order a clip from the guy which is cool so i'd probably do that if it doesn't come with one um, but they look awesome. You know, would I love it to be like a compact instead of a tinker or super tinker? Yeah, I probably want one less layer. This looks like it's going to be a thick boy. Um, so maybe I won't keep it depending on how thick it really is. Um, I kind of want a smaller one, like a two layer or something. Um, but, you know, we'll see. But they're really cool. They're 215 bucks. So, yeah, that's pricey. But, you know, as you can see, there's three left of that one right now um let's see there's four left in golf ball fluted uh i guess there's a lot because it still says added five for pinstripe and still a good amount for plane so i'm guessing that um the numbering doesn't show up until you get to like five left and then it'll start telling you there's only so many left right um trying to clean my glasses here all right, so that is the Daily Custom Super Tinker, and I, I'm pretty excited to check this out. I'm a little concerned about how thick it'll be, but um, that's about my only concern. It'll at least tell me if I like the concept, right? Um, the next one is the CWF. Uh, let me make sure I share it because I tend to fuck that up. CWF um, Rook Beads. So... Basically, this, I think, is a lanyard bead. And I think you just put your lanyard through the top and then you tie the knot so the knot kind of sits inside the bottom part of the tower. And it's basically a rook-looking piece from a like chess set. And then it's a lanyard bead. Now, you guys know I'm not a big lanyard person at all. Um, I did ask to check one of these out mostly just to show it and talk about it because i do think it's cool i don't think i'd buy one not you know i think they're like 80 bucks it's pricey now they are made in georgia by charles wiggins he's the same charles wiggins that um makes the cwf micro arcadian click flashlight my favorite flashlight on the planet which is 
basically the reason why I wanted to show it off because I really like Charles. He's a good dude. And so I'd like to support him by showing it off. Um, but they do look cool as well. Um, it looks like there's, you know, uh, four, a uh, bunch of those. So you probably got like, you know, 15 or 20 of these available still at this point. And you could just leave it off the lanyard and probably use it as a little desk ornament. You could do whatever. Um, so I do think it's cool. Comes in copper and brass. So that is the CWF Micro Arcadian bead, which is cool. Um, then we have some Hanks from Everyday Hanks. Um, you know, I'll do a I'll do a quick show and tell on everything, but I'm not really that interested in Hanks. So um, let me just close some of these. There we go. So here's the Hank, just Everyday Hanks Orange uh, Asanoa. I guess. I don't know what that is, but it's an exclusive. Um, yeah, I like Hanks, but, uh, you know, I don't think um all that interested in this. It looks like, yeah, it's just cotton on the back or cloth. Uh, I really would like microfiber. Oh, it does say microfiber. So uh, maybe it's some kind of microfiber. It looks like just regular material, but um, yeah. So there's that guy. Then we have, this looks cool. We have a couple products from Justin Lundquist. So again, I'm not a big uh, pocket trash type person, but this one did interest me. I didn't ask to check this out, but they sent me his pry bar, I think. Um, but it's basically a worry stone. And these are very popular, as I understand it. Um, it's got this little sword on it, looks like. Um, I guess it could also be a dude hold it crossing his arms. I don't know. Um, but it's a tombstone worry stone. And it's got some layering to it. I don't know. I think it looks pretty neat. Um, you know, it's pretty unique in my opinion. Look at that. It's got some uh, texture, some inlay, some depth to it. Um, it's got his JL logo. Uh, it's the same Justin Lundquist that designs knives like the Baby Barlow and other stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, 90 bucks for, uh, you know, a piece of brass. Not, you know, not really my uh, thing there, but um you know, that's for each to, that's for everybody to decide if you're into it or not, you know, uh, I'm not, but I do think it's a cool product. Um, don't know. I don't see his pry bar. So that might be next week, the pry bar. Um, so maybe I did ask for one of these. I don't know. Uh, the next one here is a product that I have absolutely raved about for a long time. And I still, uh, will, attest to the fact that this is fantastic so i do have one of these because i own it um this has kind of become my daughter's flashlight um she doesn't really use it but she liked it for a couple of days so it's been downstairs but i love this flashlight besides the um micro arcadian here which is you know this is 450 bucks plus that clip this is a 650 dollar flashlight right here right and it has 650 lumens on high did it just have memory i gotta work on that why is it turning on on the brightest setting something happened but anyway um unless you want to spend 450 dollars this is the next best option in my opinion it's very small and slim triple a sort of size even smaller than that one and um, it has 650 lumens. Um, now, it's not going to run forever on that, like 10 minutes. So, you know, um, but it has a side click right here. So you just hold and then um, hold down. I think the, the battery's dying, but you tap, you know, and then you can do your usual. So I think there's a moonlight and a strobe as well. I'm going to plug this in because it's dying. Uh, actually, I got a good old rolling square charger right here that was weird maybe it won't take on that eh, hold on let me figure this out real quick there we go now it's charging i don't know why it wouldn't charge with a direct maybe too much wattage anyway 
Uh, what are they asking? Yeah, 60 bucks for this, guys, in titanium. You can get it in black aluminum, or you could anyway, and it was like 40 or 50 bucks. So um, titanium is what, what's going to be available tomorrow. $60 for the best, like, under a, under a $100 flash. I mean, this thing's, to me... I mean, it's better than the Raylight Pineapple Mini. It's it's better than so many lights. Um, really, it's my favorite light next to the uh, CWF. So um, it's a wonderful thing to have. It's so small, and it has a magnet on the back, a deep carry clip. I mean, it's just got a lot of versatility. I love it. They're working on a larger one as well, which is really cool. But anyway, check out the Dapper Designs Ion tomorrow. Uh, that's probably the one thing that I would really say to go after tomorrow uh here is a uh custom which you know not not really something i'm into this one but i'll show it in case you guys are interested looks like somebody already bought it so this is a gadritis i'm not sure if i'm saying his name right but it's a custom um yeah it, it really does nothing for me i mean it's cool but thumb disc you know uh yeah doesn't do much for me so then the last item is uh, something that went on pre-order last week. They are closing down the pre-order tomorrow um, for this copper and stainless steel Loudy and Urban EDC shuffle, uh, which is a fidget. And, you know, if you guys are looking for, like, if you're into that worry stone, I would recommend checking this out because this also acts as a fidget, but it's a dope little piece to carry around if you just want a worry stone or if you want something for your instagram pictures or some shit it's really good for that but it also has a function where it slides like a deck of cards the opposite side is a king and an ace which looks really cool i'll show you right here um and it slides back and forth with magnets excuse me so it's very cool 165 dollars um Honestly, that's a decent price for this product. Now, to a lot of people, that's going to be crazy. But for this, I think that's perfectly reasonable. They were selling the uh, Zerk one for like 200 So um, that one was a great price. This one's a, you know, it's fine. So steel and copper looks cool. Anyway, these are dropping as well. And it is a pre-order. So just be careful with that. Make sure you know it's a pre-order. And it says it'll ship later this summer. I would... I would add two or three months to that with Loudy. It always seems like it's longer, but you know, maybe with Urban they'll they'll get it done a little quicker. Um, but let me just make sure that's everything on the email. Uh, yep, that's everything on the email. Let's see how do I get rid of this now? There we go. So pull this down. So yeah. Um, that's the drop tomorrow. I know um there's some cool stuff coming in the future. Uh, we could pull up the uh, website and just uh, take a quick perusing of what else is there. And then I'll wrap this up. I don't want to, you know, if I don't need to drag this on forever with you guys, um, I don't have to. But um, so the AVNT with their brass scales is still available. Um, that's a cool knife if you're into the um, Avant. Uh, the blade shape is just the, the tip. The belly to the tip has just always been my issue with that one. As much as I want to love it, and I've bought four of them at this point, I think. So, um, yeah. Here's the uh, Lundquist pry bar I was talking about. So, it's a bottle opener slash pry bar. Um, it's got the five slots on it. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's more of a... Um, this is available right now, apparently. So check it out. Um, I'll link all the stuff I can down below. I'll also just put my generic Urban EDC link. If you guys use my link, it helps me out. I know, you know, you guys don't get a discount, but it does help the channel, which, you know, if you're going to buy stuff anyway, and you're not going to get a discount, it's not going to cost you more. You might as well do it and help a brother out. But if you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, Zerblast is awesome. I'll just go ahead and say that's one of my favorite finishes on anything is a Zerblast. Uh, that would be this over here. And then you have blue. Um, and then this looks more like a sand wash or something like that, I guess. 
And what are they calling it? Tumbled bronze. Yeah, I don't know. But that's a Zerblas. Looks gorgeous. Um, I don't know how useful this is, you know, but it looks cool. So if you're into looking cool, there you go. Uh, we saw his worry stone. Uh, we saw those. Oh, this is our latest gear drop. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe because I'm logged in, it's letting me see all this. So this might be on the drop tomorrow. Sorry. I thought it was because I was asking to check one out. So I don't know. Let's see what they have for flashlights. Uh, Focus Works F3. That's a cool looking light. They actually have a CWF Micro Arcadian in brass right now. Is this available? Yeah. Four of them. Do they have titanium? No. But still, that's pretty cool. So if you guys are looking for one uh, and you don't mind brass, um, yeah, I don't know why it's 470 in brass, but there's some other lights. But yeah, I totally recommend this Dapper Ion out of all of those. Um, see what they have for knives. What we got, baby. Uh, nothing, nothing I'm into. Nothing I'm into. Sacred Bear is a, a local guy here. Really cool dude. Um, and uh, definitely perfecting his craft. So I'm uh, happy to see his stuff. This looks awesome. Whatever that is. Is this a slip joint? It says SJ1. So slip joint knives are notoriously hard to craft. Yeah. That looks awesome. You know, it's it's 750 bucks is what holds me back. But wow. Dude, this is a sick looking knife. I kind of want it, honestly. Honing his craft created with input from the legendary custom knife maker Chuck Gidratis is the second slip joint from Mag 10. They've absolutely hit out of the park with this gorgeously crafted blade. Yeah, that, that's absolutely gorgeous. Whew. Yeah, I love that. Um, these are cool. I saw these at NYCKS. So he must have, this must be some stuff they bought at NYCKS. Um, this is like a button lock. Oh, it has a clip on this one. I think they all had a clip. Sorry, the weird thing on this is it's a button lock with no flipper. So it's like the Elementum button lock. It has no flipper tabs, studs, nothing. So you literally use gravity to open it. You just push the button and flip. Um, so, But it's like supposed to be super uh, sturdy and all that stuff. Pretty cool design. I mean, it's beefy and everything. It's a, it's a very unique knife. So uh, definitely cool. But... $900 is, uh, must be because they bought it at the show for retail or whatever. So they got to sell it for retail. Javelina Jacks are still available. Absolutely. Great knife. Uh, Micro Shrike is fantastic. I've raved about that. So is the Pena Caballero. I uh, was not a fan of these Matsies, really. They were fine, but they're just too much. Uh, to me, they're just too similar to this for me to spend the money on them i'd rather get a vero um there's a baby barlow pre-order going on for antique bronze inlay um which is cool so definitely check that out it's one of my favorite knives i actually have one right here it's just yeah it's a good knife i haven't carried it or used it in a while so i'm like Got to get used to it again real quick. Love that thing. Um, we saw that already. Oh, there's still low drag. Guys, you got to jump on the Jack Wolves. Come on. Um, and then you got the Vanish. These are uh, coming in now. He, I think they shipped to him. Um, what? Oh, no. This is the variant PE3. I'm sorry. This is a pre-order for that. That's shipping soon, too, I believe. So this is cool. These are still available. Um, that black one looks dope. I thought it was the Vanish. Sorry. Um, can't wait for the Vanish. Um, you got some burgers. You got, you got a lot of stuff on here. So definitely check that out. Here's the Vanish. 
Uh, dude, I would highly recommend if you want to try to get into slip joints a little bit, but you don't want to spend, you know, 120 bucks titanium 20 CB. This was one of my favorite uh, prototypes I handled last year. Just loved it. It's my favorite form factor of that knife. Um, and then you have the F5 and JG10. I think they have the Stormtrooper still, too. Um, take a quick look at pens and pencils. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, Nottingham Tactical is awesome. Arrow Crafted, I haven't handled these. Um, Fell Holter, I don't know anything about. But Nottingham, whoo, they got good shit. Um, all right, I think that's enough for us. Um, let me know what you guys think. I want to cover the drops. I didn't want to go crazy on other stuff there, but um, I'm going to try to have physical products to show you in the future to make it a little more. I just think it's better when I have something to show you and be like, this is cool, you know, because right now all I can say is I, I'm interested in this. I you know might buy one, but like, I don't know because I haven't handled it. So it's, you know, I can... I can really tell you how good something is, obviously, if I have it in hand. So um, anyway, let me know uh, what you guys might be picking up tomorrow. If anything, uh, let me know how you like this sort of form factor of this video. If you prefer that I do it desktop and just have items to show or just talk about it desktop or, you know, just free ball it, you know, not do the show and tell stuff. You know, you guys let me know. Let me know what you're carrying today. Um, I got the Ace Atelier on my desk currently. Um, but I was carrying the uh, Skelton Blade Works Kaladin today. It's an S90V. I got two of these in. And um, absolutely love it. I, I think it's fantastic. I sent the other one out already to do these daggers to do a review. So I got a list for a pass around uh on another one and i decided to hang on to this one shout out to jim skelton really good dude these are available at two ya knives uh us.com i think it's two ya knife us.com big boy flipper only but um yeah it's really good he did a great job and then i have a jack wolf in a northwoods leatherworks slip this is a ghost leather slip, so it has white wax over purple butero leather, so that'll slowly turn purple as it patinas, which is really cool. And I was rocking my Midnight Jack. Beautiful knife. Fantastic. Walk and talk. Love it absolutely wonderful so um and then ah, had an njt hand power coin in an oak city leather supply slip this is the one i call a uh, camo mokutai or a uh, sunset mokutai got more of these coming to sell uh, very soon. I don't know how many I'll have, but and then I'm carrying a through night mini archer for review. And I gotta say, this is uh, my favorite budget uh, flashlight. So the the this one under a hundred, you know, easy sixty bucks for me. That's fantastic. This is twenty dollars. So. 20 freaking dollars and this thing is wonderful i mean it really is it has uh two brightnesses so you have turbo and you have regular actually i think it has moonlight does it have a moonlight no i guess it doesn't now it's off but it has turbo and a low and it has a strobe which you can see there so and then you just turn it on, hold down, and it's locked. I mean, I, I really like this. And then you unscrew it here. And uh, Bob, your uncle, you just charge it right there, and you're good to go. So I really like this. It's going to get a good review. So, All right, that's it. Uh, that's what's hot at Urban EDC for the drop tomorrow on 329. Let me know what you guys are picking up. Let me know what you think. 
I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Shout out to Urban EDC for everything they do for the channel as well. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace!